Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I'm going to show you how I decorated this wine bottle using Chocola markers. So, let's get started. The Chocola markers come in many colors, and there's a set of 10 colors, but I'm going to use the brightest colors to do our decoration. In order to activate these, you have to hold it in an upright position. And I did a previous video with a review of the Chocola markers. So if you want to see that, just go to the description box below. So what you need to do is hold it in an upright position and shake it up to activate the ink. And you have to do that for about 30 seconds just to get the ink flowing. And so now it's ready. What I started doing with the glass, I made sure it was I had a clean surface. And I just randomly started with circles. All over the bottle. And you see how smoothly that goes on? I really like these Chocola markers, especially if I want to draw on glass. But they can be used on other non-porous surfaces. And have fun with it. I'm just drawing my circles first. And then I'm going to go in and make some flowers. I like the smoothness and the coverage of these. And the tip of the marker is just right. So that helps when you want to do lines on it. I'm just being kind of random with these. Just drawing some dots for now. And I want to draw some dots in various colors. And the more you shape these, the more the ink starts to flow. This kind of reminds me when I used to doodle in the class. Even though I was still listening to the teacher, I would be drawing something. So I'm just doing this randomly, but you could do any design you want. This is just an idea. Now that I've got all my dots on there, I'm actually ready to start drawing some flowers or making those dots into flowers. So all I'm doing is, I like to alternate the colors. So like I have this yellow dot here and I'm just going to go around it. So our bottle is looking good so far. And I'm having so much fun drawing these flowers. It's actually quite relaxing. Flowers aren't real fancy, but you can get fancy if you want to.
these markers are not permanent. They will wipe off um, with just water, or you can use a wet wipe. If you make a mistake, you can go back and clean it off and start over again. Okay, and now we're finished with all of our flowers, and look how pretty that looks. But I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to just take my green marker, and I'm going to connect my flowers. See if you can see that. Almost like a vine. And this is just another added accent that I'm doing with these. I'm just connecting the flowers. And the reason why I'm holding the bottle from the top like this is because the, the paint is still not dry. It's quick drying, but it won't dry like immediately. So I'm just kind of handling it so I don't smudge it. So I'm just randomly connecting each flower just to give it an added accent. And the nice thing is you can do two-tone colors or you just use two colors. You could use just one color or you just can go over the top and use every single color in the box. want you to see that. It's almost like it has a vine connecting the flowers. This is one I just did in green and yellow. More of a slender bottle. See if you can see that. So I really like the way it turned out just using two colors. And I will post pictures at the end and also a link to where you can get the Chocola markers. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Bye.